Hey guys, welcome to Learn with DevOps Engineer channel. Like, share and subscribe for more videos. In this video, we are going to see how to create a Docker file for this particular small project node.js. So let's get started. I'm going to create a Docker file in this app directory. Docker file and I'm going to pass some instructions to this particular file so that we can build a container image. So I'm going to say from node 12 alpine I would like to build this image from. It will try to pull this image from docker registry to our local machine. Followed by I'm going to say run these commands on this particular image hyphen no cache followed by python g++ and make then i'm going to say use this particular directory as a working directory work directory app then i'm going to copy the required files into this location followed by i'm going to run yarn install hyphen hyphen production then the last step would be to run the command node comma I'm going to run the index.js script within this image so that we can access the application using the local host so you can see the structure of this project this is how it looked like we do have like index.js script and we can add delete get items all these things we can do achieve with this project so i'm going to save this particular docker file and let's try to build this docker file now to build this docker image using this docker file i'm going to run this particular command docker build space hyphen t tag getting started is the image name space dot to look for the docker file in this particular location so we do have like docker file in this app folder and it is like running now the it is like trying to build this docker image for us once the build is like completed we can run it will try to run all these instructions which we have provided as you can see one from docker run apk working directory copy then it is like running the last step now run yarn install install hyphen fn production so once this is like done we can run this image This will take like few more seconds to build. So it's still in progress. Once this is like finished we can run this image as a container then we should be able to access it at the local host okay uh, we've successfully built the image now I'm going to run this particular image to run that I'm going to run this particular command We are going to run the image as a container which we created just now docker run is the command which I'm going to use in here hyphen D in detached mode P is like a particular port where I would like to run that is like 3000 port I would like to use in here 
and the image name if i press enter the docker container should start running in a detached mode now let's go to the browser and check if the container is like available for us to access as you can see uh, we are able to see this particular item i can add something hello and i can delete it as well i'll add another item here i can delete this item delete i mean this is how we do create docker containers on windows 10 computer i'm using this windows computer as you can see uh, if i open docker now you should be able to see the windows container running on port 3000 this is the container which we are running i can restart this container or let's say i will stop this container if i'm going to start this container using docker desktop now let's click on start as you can see the container is like up and running now let's go to the browser and try to check reload okay this is like running so i'm going to add something here once again add item so it got added i'm going to delete so this is how we do create and delete containers using docker desktop in here as you can see we we, we tried starting and stopping the containers i'm going to stop it here now once again now let's delete this container remove uh, we've removed everything now so that's it for this video